Jésus. We've been awaiting your arrival, mighty Savior. Please, this way. Oh, yes. You're amazing. We never thought anyone would manage to kill the world leader, but you did it. The Queen and everyone is overjoyed at what you've done for us. What else can we call you but our Savior? Savior? I like the sound of that. Say, if you want my autograph, I'd be happy to oblige. We're glad you're here. Now please follow me. Oh? We can all come? So I have been informed, yes. Why is everyone so friendly all of a sudden? Huh. We were ready for a fight. I don't think anyone was prepared for a parade. Yeah, something's rotten here. Everyone, run! Ha! <laughs> Too late! Damn it, bastards! They put a spell on the whole castle! It feels like something's sticking to me. Hey, are you okay? Uh, a binding? Mm, break! 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 <sighs> it's no use. How do you like my little spell? Dio, how could you do this to your own flesh and blood? <laughs> the more you struggle, the tighter your chains are pulled. You're supposed to be a wise magician, but you're just a... a horrible man. You... you tricked us! That's just mean! Haha, <laughs> you silly young girl. In no way did I trick you. I laid my net before you and you walked right into it. You should really pay more attention to where your hooven feet lead you. <sighs> But I must admit, I never thought Raksha would fail so miserably. I didn't take that unique man into consideration. So, Dio, what do you plan to do with us? Hmm, I haven't quite decided yet. But we're causing a scene here. Let's move to a more quiet locale. see through myself that was a teleportation spell Dio how did you learn that our family has known this spell for well over 200 years not that you would know anything about it but I really shouldn't waste these jewels. Those that Thurus collected are finally proving their worth. What are you planning to do? Nothing less than the complete reunification of the world. Every man, woman, and child ruled by a single sovereign king. Huh, you sound exactly like that abomination we just killed. But that means you two should have been enemies, and yet you work together. Excuse me if I sound skeptical. No. His goals were not at all the same as mine. Raksha wanted to become a god so that nobody could tell him what to do. He wasn't interested in ruling others. But I am different. With the hands of the great conqueror, we shall once again grasp the reins of history. That's right. You have not been formally introduced. But surely you've heard tales of the Blazing Swordsman. Gestal is just a temporary label until he completes his revival. Truly, he is Lord Median the Conqueror. Median? God, do I hate that name! You mean he's still alive? But that's... that's impossible! He died 200 years ago, along with his child. This is well-known history. And although history gets warped and legends changed over the years, this is just too much. Ignorant fools. How arrogant of you to judge reality based on your own pitiful experience. 
History is warped and legends are born. But what I say about the Conqueror is the truth. Lord Median has been killed once by Lady Virtuous, Master of Life herself, no less. Are you serious? Guided by his memory of the Divine, he pursued immortality. He was told he could have it. Price. He was tasked with killing the Master of Death, which he did. But immediately after, Virtuous killed him in return. Forget it. Doesn't matter. So... Wait. You're telling us he died and came back to life? So he's a... zombie? He must have used the spell of soul retrieval. But to use that on a human is expressly forbidden. Ha! A worthless failed wizard is trying to lecture me. Nothing in this world is forbidden. Your taboos are simply an attempt to control others through meaningless morals. Common people are bound to these rules only through their fear of retribution. But the king has no such fear. He has only the duty to guide those who have lost their way. And who better to right our faltering world than he who united us once before? Lord Median, the Conqueror! Your world is certainly all attractive. For some reason, it all sounds horribly wrong. Maybe I am a dropout, a quitter. But I am no fool. I refuse your notion of a perfect world. To revive such a powerful soul, many other souls must be sacrificed, and many crimson tears must be shattered. And that is unforgivable for someone in your position. You, better than any, should understand the value of life. <laughs> Still you misunderstand the path of true greatness. On the journey to enlighten the world, you cannot cower before the sacrifices that inevitably must be made. Even you insignificant specks must understand that much. <laughs> insignificant specks! <laughs> I told you, I will unify the world. Of course, that can happen only after we harvest all the souls from Drazil. Oh, Lady Lena warned us of this. Even as a mortal, you've somehow pulled back the curtain on the universe. Like I told you, your human standards have no bearing on my reality. <laughs> so I was right. You're trying to get into Brazil, huh? Hmm. That plan was executed when I first revived Rockshot. Ah, so there's the entrance. Lord Median will soon walk amongst the living. But first, he must visit the Masters of Life and Death in Brazil. Then he shall conquer time itself, and rule this world for all eternity. And with Watcher gone, perhaps Lord Median could even become a god unto himself. But then, having this Master of Death wannabe hanging around could be something of an annoyance. <laughs> hey, you wanna talk shit, numbnuts? Then say it to my face! What? My spell! <laughs> so, what was that about a master of death wannabe? You really thought you could tie me up with that half-assed magic of yours? You got a bad attitude, you know that? I think someone needs to straighten you out. Hey kid, why don't we show him who's boss? Remember, you owe me one. What do you say? You ready to take out the trash? <laughs> 